if you want to post very often on your social media and only finished artworks, you're going to burn out very fast and I don't want this for you. Hi, I'm Adalina, an artist and illustrator based in Italy and today I want to share with you 10 content ideas that will make your life as an artist easier. Before jumping into the content ideas, I want to tell you my humble opinion about how Instagram works. Most artists put their art on Instagram and a lot of them use it as a portfolio. But Instagram is not a portfolio platform, it's a social media and as that, it was built to create community, social interactions and share experiences like you are talking to people, real people. So you can't post an illustration and just expect people to like you and know your values as an artist. You need to communicate this through genuine posts and captions. And if you need a free platform for just posting your portfolio, I suggest you to take a look at ArtStation or Behance. More than this, every social media has an algorithm and if you want to be his friend, you are required to post very often, with consistency and in different ways, such as photos or videos. And as you know, each illustration requires a lot of studies, sketches, planning and of course time for drawing and painting layers upon layers. So you either resign and post once a month or you find a way to take the most from each work you do. And now I'll show you my way of doing it. Before starting an illustration, you probably do some studies about the main character or the objects or the background. So why not posting those preparatory sketches? Even though they're not perfect, they genuinely show people how you work, how you study things and people love seeing behind the scenes. They may be a way to start a conversation with other artists or they may be encouraging for beginner artists. But of course, you may not feel comfortable sharing this raw side of your work and I understand you. Honestly, I don't share so many sketches on Instagram, both because I think they're too messy or because I have other plans like sharing them on Patreon rather than on a public platform. Before completely finishing your drawing, you should film little bits of the final touches you do like adding details on clothes, or on face, or on hair, or in the background, or while you're accentuating lines or shadows. You should film all the parts that you feel comfortable with, so all the parts of the process that come easy to you. You don't have to film your hard decisions, like composition or drawing hands, in general all the parts that are hard for you to do. Filming them can really put a lot of pressure on you, and why you should do that? Now that you finished your drawing, you should take some photos before starting painting it. You don't have to show all the illustration, just focus on the details. You may want to show the subject of the illustration or a detail in the background, just to let know the people what you're working on. You can also post a photo of your inked drawing as I did here. You should take one or more photos while you're finishing the painting process. The focus of your post may be the first layer of color, or the shadows layer, or the finished subject in your painting. At this point, you have shared a lot of work in progress and behind the scenes of one single illustration, and you both created expectation in your followers who can't wait to see the final result, and also created an authentic connection with your community by sharing your thoughts and struggles and your way to create art. While you're painting the illustration, you may also film little bits of the process. Again, you should film only the easy parts for you, like adding freckles on the face, or details on the clothes, or highlights. Remember that you're not doing a long video for YouTube or Patreon, where you have to show all the process. Social media instead prefer short and fast consumption videos. Next month I'll post a tutorial about how I film and edit videos for my Instagram and TikTok and if you want to be notified, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Finally, you can post the whole finished painting and you've also done 6 contents by far. You can choose to post them every day, one after another, or you can switch between these posts and the next ones I'll tell you. Another idea for short videos is flipping through your sketchbook. I know it takes a lot of time and effort to finish a sketchbook and you may have not finished a sketchbook yet, like me. 
I'm that kind of person that paints on pieces of paper rather than on sketchbooks and I also start a lot of new sketchbooks during the year. So yeah, I'm still working on this point. But you can still do a video showing all your illustrations in a row or if you manage to paint only 10 pages in your sketchbook, you can still do a video while flipping through them because the video can last 15 seconds, so why not? Sometimes you may post a photo about you, or your workspace, or your favorite place in your house, or your favorite tea, in general something about you as a person. This kind of post should not be the main focus of your social media, of course, but they can still add value and create authentic connection with your followers. People connect better with the art that has a face or some humanity behind it. So don't be afraid of showing yourself and your personality because you are talking to real people on social media. There's a way to create very simple and fast videos without necessarily creating new art, and you can do this by following TikTok or Reels trends. If you go on the Reel page in your Instagram, you can browse a lot of popular videos and you'll notice that most of them are about showing a blank page, then magically a finished painting on it. You can just film a piece of paper or a page in your sketchbook and then an old illustration you've done. Then pick the music of the popular video and upload your video and it's done. Personally, I don't like these kind of videos and I don't do them very often, but if you want to grow your numbers, it may work very well. Don't be afraid of showing people the products you're selling. If you want to sell original art, then post a picture of the originals you want to sell. Or if you want to sell prints, then post a picture of your prints. If you want to do commissions, Post an example of the kind of art you want to do. For example, if you want to do portraits without any background, then post a portrait in that style. You want to be very clear about the product you sell so people can see it and contact you for that specific product. So that's it. You now have 10 ideas for your social media. While I'm doing this video, more ideas come to my mind and I might be doing another video like this in the future. Let me know in the comments if these content ideas work for you and your art. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye!